exciting because you just want to see your net worth having five zeros guys so no, but i just feel like something about always having your nails on point it just says man this girl has a business together she knows what she's doing especially when you're consulting with a client and you just like and your nails your nails look <laughs> welcome back to my youtube channel and happy new year happy 2023 i am so excited to see you guys here in 2023 so now to my returning subscribers thank you so so much for your love and support it's definitely always a pleasure to have you on this channel your support is definitely 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 appreciated and uh, if you are landing on this channel for the first time i would definitely say do you subscribe to the channel to not miss out on some good 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 quality content <laughs> and yeah guys happy new year i haven't seen you guys in a while I don't remember when was the last time I saw you in 2022, but we are definitely back in 2023 and we are doing this again. So if you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe. If I didn't mention it, please don't forget to subscribe. So yeah, let's get into this video. So this video is just basically me wishing you guys a happy new year. I have one announcement to make and I'm going to be reflecting on my 2022 with you guys so um hmm, i don't know where to start to be honest with you guys but i think let us start with the announcement so um most of you on this channel might know that i do have another channel which is the wealth doctor tv some of you may not but it's definitely not something to worry about because that is going to be addressed in this video so what is going to be happening is that I have decided to merge the two channels. So the Wealth Doctor TV will now be moving to this channel. So what does that mean? So that means I am going to start uploading finance content on this channel. So I'm not going to completely take away the vlog, um, the vlogs that I used to do on this channel. It's just that I've realized that you know what, I'm not much of a vlogging person. I definitely do enjoy sharing uh, personal finance content and I would love to just bring everything together into one channel so that all of my videos basically have one home. You don't have to go to the other side to watch the finance content and then come this side to watch other content. So everything will be matched into one and there's definitely going to now be personal finance education videos on this channel which is some amazing news. For those of you who did not know about my other channel but would love to learn about personal finances so that is the big announcement that i had to make in this video so i hope you guys are definitely looking forward to that i am so excited for that i don't know about you guys so the second part of this video is basically just me reflecting um on 2022 but i don't only want to reflect on 2022 i just like to reflect on the past few years that have definitely been so so challenging so um in 2022 2022 was a rough year guys like let's talk about how rough 2022 was like most of us um 2022 showed us flames some of you guys had a good year in 2022 which is definitely lovely for you guys i'm happy for those of you who were able to reach your goals and yeah but for most of us shame it's been bitter <laughs> but uh what i can say is um in 2021 so 2021 that's when i started doing my honors in financial planning of which I was able to pass most of the modules that I was doing. I unfortunately failed one module, which I had to repeat in 2022. So 2021 was challenging in a sense of um, my honors, obviously. Um, most of you who've done your honors know that it's completely different to undergrad. So having to transition into that was a challenge for me. 
but I believe that I eventually got the hang of things. And then another unfortunate event that occurred in 2021 was that I lost my dad. And I thought, at first I thought, okay, my dad passed away in 2021. I'm going to take the rest of 2021 to heal because my dad passed away in July. So I was like, okay, I'm going to use the six months to heal. And then after six months, okay, I'm just people making noise of me. Sorry guys about the noise. So I was like, okay, I'm going to use the six months to heal. And then after six months, immediately once it hits 1 January 2022, I'll be a new person, I'll be a healed person, and that was a lie to myself. It was a very big lie to myself, but I am grateful for the lesson that it came with. And I'm not saying that right now I'm completely healed, but I think I have, I don't want to say experience, but I think I've been experiencing this long enough, and each and every day I'm becoming stronger. I'll obviously have my bad days where this is pulling me down, but I'm definitely in a better place than I was in 2021 and in 2022. So above all things, that's what's been holding me back from being consistent and from posting videos. And honestly, dealing with the loss, it's a very huge thing to be able to transition from, especially if you lost someone that you love so much. My dad was like my best friend. so. It's, it's been difficult guys, especially with my channel and other, like my channel, my honors and other things that are related to my career. My dad has been a very supportive person when it comes to that and losing your, your support. It's like now it's shaking guys. You know, when a house loses its pillars, that house is no longer standing. So I had to now build again from the scratch because now my pillars were gone or my pillar is gone. So that has been a very difficult transition and most of you can be like, okay, yeah, you lost your dad, come on, that's not a big deal. It is a big deal. It's been so, so hard for me to be productive and like I said, because it's been a big part of my career. So I am just going to reflect on my 2022 with you guys and i did make some notes on this notebook so i'll be referring to it so i don't miss any points so what happened in 2022 which was more on the negative side was that i paused school so i was supposed to complete my honors in 2022 which was supposed to be my second year of my part-time um honors but I had to put that on a hold because it got to a point where I couldn't cope with school and work and processing the loss of my dad. And I also didn't want to provide mediocre quality work into my studies. Like when I study, I want it to be like tops. So I didn't just want to pass getting 50 percent and stuff like that. So I decided to pause that up until I pull myself together and i'm definitely going to be continuing with my honors this year i'm definitely finishing it the devil is a liar and then the other thing is i paused my wealth doctor tv channel which i'm now moving over to this channel and the reason is with um the finance content video it's very different from vlogging where you're cooking and you're just switching on the camera and you're showing people while you're cooking you're showing people while you're going to the mall it actually needs a lot of um, preparation, a lot of research and stuff like that. So because of what I was dealing with, it was very difficult for me to focus on the channel, considering the effort that it needs uh, to be invested in order for you to see a video on the screen. So that is something that I did not have the capacity for, simply because I was still going through this healing journey. I'm still going through the healing journey, but it's definitely not as rough as last year. Um, the other thing is that I also paused some of my business plans, but the good part is I am planning to be launching a couple of things this year. I think I'm going to launch three, three things. Yeah. So that is uh, definitely some exciting news. Obviously, I'm still doing the background work and I'll definitely share it with you guys once I am ready to share so now let's move to the positives of 2022 so in as much as 2022 has been rough and challenging it does not mean that i haven't had any um 
good moments uh, I did have uh, wins and I definitely did have some good experiences in 2022 even though most of it has been rough but there has been some positive things that I've um, experienced in 2022 and the first one being that I got a promotion so I got promoted to being a financial advisor which is very very exciting because this is what I'm passionate about this is what I've studied and this is what I wanted um so I was supposed to be in my role um, in March 2021 but things took longer than they were supposed to be but eventually uh, in May 2022 I finally got appointed as a financial advisor and before that I was working in the client services section of the company as a call center agent so i would basically do a mild version of financial advisory yeah i would do a mild version of that on a call so now i'm like full in financial advisor mode and i'm so excited because number one i'm doing what i love and what i've always wanted to do and the second thing is obviously my salary went up as well. so that's very exciting right so that's the first thing that i'm definitely definitely mostly grateful for because i mean this thing puts bread on my table so i'm so happy about that and in as much as 2022 has been rough and in as much as the role has also contributed in 2022 been rough because it has its busy seasons i'm definitely grateful for a promotion and it's definitely something positive that came out of 2022 the second thing which is also exciting is that um i had a dream of having a six figure network i'm not saying income there's a very huge difference between income and net worth please don't get these things twisted and now you're thinking that i'm i'm earning a six figure income which i would love to but we have not yet reached that level but i definitely made it to my six figure net worth so right now guys i am a hundred thousand <laughs> i'm sorry guys but it's so exciting because you just want to see your net worth having five zeros guys so you just want to see it having five zeros and i definitely reached my six figure net worth goal in 2022 another thing to add is that financially 2022 has been rough and as much as i got a promotion guys surprisingly 2022 has been rough financially and i was so shocked to actually see that i was able to reach my six figure net worth into net worth goal in 2022 so i'm definitely excited for that and it's another positive that came out of the rough 2022 um the other positive thing is that i grew my tax-free savings account so in the previous years i've been investing but i've not been focusing on my tax-free savings account and i tried to focus more on my tax-free savings account in 2022 and i'm so glad that i was able to do that and currently my tax-free savings account is worth more than 10,000 rand of which i never thought it would be i know some of y'all may be like oh, 10,000 rand what's that to me it's a big thing because i'm the one who knows my finances and i'm the one who knows my goals so i'm definitely happy about that and it's another positive that i came out with in 2022 the other positive is on my vision board for 2022 i had put that i want to go for massages so if there's definitely something that has been consistent in 2022 is that i've been going to massages most of you who are on my whatsapp and my instagram know that i spend most of my time um at snares wellness space which is a space that i really love for my massages and basically my self-care so i've been camping more that side and i'm still planning to continue with that and the massages have definitely helped me a lot and as much as a massage is done on your body 
it also does affect your mental health and how good you feel so i know it's not something that someone might list as part of their goals but to me it has definitely helped me a lot especially with my healing journey and it's definitely a positive that has came out of my life in 2022 and then um the other thing is in 2021 i had failed my estate planning module and as much as i deregistered some of my modules i decided to uh, finish off the estate planning and i definitely passed it with flying colors so that's another thing that's another positive thing that i came out with in 2022 and then the other thing is which is very ironic but my nails always looked amazing in 2022 which is something that i'm i don't know to me it's a positive because i just feel like there's just something about your nails looking on point i know right now my nails are not done and the reason for that is because i had tips on and i'm just waiting for my nails to heal because you know if you file your nails a lot they get finished so i'm just waiting for my nails to heal and they'll definitely be on point again in 2023 i don't know but i just feel like something about always having your nails on point it just says man this girl has a business together she knows what she's doing especially when you're consulting with a client and you just like and your nails your nails look good i mean it, there's just something about that so I've, I've reflected on my 2022 and i realized that my nails were always on point in 2022 and i definitely got a lot of compliments about my nails in 2022 so it's definitely a positive it's a small thing but it's definitely something that i'm grateful for talk about appreciating the small things in your life i appreciate my nails like i'm saying it's ironic now because my nails are on are not on point at the present moment but i'm definitely working on it i'm just waiting for them to heal and as much as i want them to be on point we also want them to heal so the other positive that i came out with in 2022 is that i made my mother's birthday special so i told myself that i'm going to use my bonus to take my mom and her sisters out for her birthday and it was definitely a successful event i'll definitely share some pictures with you guys um maybe after this i'm just gonna slide a few pictures of her birthday so that you guys can see that went so it's not a goal yes but it's definitely something beautiful and positive that happened in 2022 and as i'm reflecting it's also something to be grateful for like they say we need to give people their flowers while they're still alive and this was a way of me giving my mom her flowers while she was still alive i don't want to be going to my mom's grave and doing all these things when she has passed away and definitely another thing about losing my dad has taught me how to appreciate my mom more i'm not saying i wasn't appreciating my dad most of you that are close to me know how much i appreciated my dad and how much i did for him with the little that i had it's unfortunate that um he passed away before i could get things like this promotion and a, a permanent job so i couldn't do big things for him but definitely did appreciate him so this was such a beautiful moment and giving my mom her flowers while she was still alive and it was definitely definitely an exciting moment and then another positive that happened in 2022 is that my brother got married and he had such a beautiful beautiful wedding i obviously looked amazing on his wedding he looked amazing his beautiful wife looked amazing it's definitely a celebration for the whole family so i i am thinking this is not only a positive for me but it's a positive for my whole family 
I'll also I'll also ooh, I'll also share some pictures of my brother's wedding and my outfits and all of those nice nice things and yeah positive that um came out of um what's this that came out of my 2022 which is the last thing that came out of my 2022 so things to look forward to in 2023 is i want to be consistent with my side hustle i would love to make more money with my side hustle I do have side hustles and I've been making some money but it's not it's not enough to make me rich it's just there maybe to like pour petrol on a rough month or rough week or for me to be able to do my nails and stuff like that but I would definitely like to make more than what I'm currently making with my side hustle and another thing that I'm definitely looking forward to is to launching the three items that I'm going to be launching in 2023, which is something that you guys must look forward to. I'm not going to announce what they are for now, but if you are subscribed to this channel, you're definitely going to be finding out soon what those three things are. So guys, this marks the end of our video and to those of you who are returning subscribers like i said again thank you so much for your love and your support um thank you for sticking with me even though i was not consistent thank you for always being there for me and yeah i just appreciate the love and support that you showed me if you're new to this channel please subscribe you don't want to miss out on the financial education content that i'm going to be sharing you don't want to miss out on an opportunity to learn about money and how to make money and how to make money work for you so definitely do subscribe guys um thank you so much don't forget to like this video comment on this video it definitely does help a lot when you comment on my videos because it reaches more people and more people can subscribe and we can be monetized and that will be me ticking off my goal of increasing the money that i make from my side hustles so yeah thank you so much for watching today's video i will see you again next week with a financial education content <laughs> So anyway, guys, thank you so much and I love you guys so much and happy, happy new year. I wish you all the best for this year and I hope that all the things that you desire and the things that God desires for you happen. And yeah, have a lovely and amazing year. Mwah.